You want to know the craziest fact for 2018, craziest thing you've ever heard. If you had invested a hundred bucks into crypto Bitcoin in 2010, guess how much money you'd have today? At least a hundred million dollars if you had kept it. That's crazy. Now that, I don't know if that's ever going to happen again in history. I missed it. I didn't get in in 2010. I don't know if you did, but I'll tell you this. One of my mentors, Alan Nation said, Ty, never be the first or the last to test a new idea. And probably the number one question I'm getting right now, I launched a crypto show, a crypto podcast, and it like shot up because everybody's like number one crypto show in the world. Not because I'm so smart, but just because the subject is like hot right now. So I'm getting questions from all around the world, and I'm not even necessarily like the world expert. I'm not, I'm not even close to that. So what I do on my show is I interview the top cryptocurrency experts, people who know, you know, Bitcoin. Or I had the chairman of the Bitcoin Foundation on. Let's see if I can go outside. I got this new camera. And here's what he told me. <clears throat> I said, do you think it's too early or too late to get into crypto? Like, is it too late? Like, did we miss it? Because we didn't get in in 2010 when 100 bucks would have turned into 100 million. He said, if anything, Ty, I think it's too early. And that blew my mind. I was like, what do you mean? 2018 is too early? He's like, well, trends take a while to catch on. And you're seeing it. It's controversial right now. Big people like Warren Buffett say, oh, it's not going to last. Bitcoin's a fad. It's a f and other smart people like Elon Musk, the billionaire, you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. He, so he obviously not only approves of it, but is using it. So you see this controversy, and maybe you're a little bit confused. I thought I would help you a little bit by putting a link. There should be a link above or below. Go to this link, and something really simple. I created a video that will instruct you on everything objectively you need to know about crypto. Whether you're a beginner, mid-level you know, knowledge, or advanced. Go watch this free video because what if it is too early? What if there's still time to get in and you miss the trend again? That's the scary thing. What if you miss the trend again? A lot of people are about to miss this trend again. Don't miss the trend. So I hope you'll, uh, I hope you'll take the time. What I tell a lot of people is put 100 bucks into it. Don't put more in that you can't afford to lose. But 10 bucks, you can get in with 10 bucks, 100 bucks. What this video is gonna show you is some simple stuff, how to get your first wallet, what's the difference between Bitcoin and Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum. People are confused, they hear these smaller coins, like, oh, what's, you know, Tron, die, like. So I just wanted to create a very simple instructional video. Do not miss this trend again. That's what I tell myself over and over. That's what you should be telling yourself. There's nothing worse than realizing you could have had something, but you know some people are lazy, some people are overly cynical, some people just procrastinate. Do not do that today. Click the link above or below. Uh, below. Above or below. What did I say? Above and below. <laughs> I hope you'll learn something. For those of you who already know a lot about crypto, come on my show. I'm interviewing anybody who's got real expertise, and. As to the question whether this thing's in a bubble or not, hard to know the future, but I'll tell you this. If you look back and you had the opportunity and you didn't even look into it, I'm not even saying you have to put any money, but doesn't it make sense to look into it? Like I, I'm amazed how many people are closed-minded and then I got other friends with open-minded that I can't even say how much money they're making. It's a crazy number. So, so now or never, baby. 20, 2018, do not procrastinate. You know, one of the reasons that people procrastinate, I read an interesting book, it said because sometimes we feel alone. We feel like we have to do too much on our own. I never thought of that. I always thought procrastination was some work ethic issue. Then I realized, well, maybe it's because we got a lot to do and maybe you have a lot to do and you don't have time to do all the research. I spent over $400,000 last year, 2017 bringing in top crypto experts to teach me or me traveling to them, bringing my team, my video team, and just saying, explain this stuff to me. You've been doing this for years. What do we need to know? What are we missing out on? So I wanna share that with you. Click the link, 
head over there, 100 bucks into 100 million, that may never happen again. But I'll tell you what, if something similar happens, I wouldn't want to be the person to miss it. And I'm not saying you're going to make a million dollars. That's not even the point of this. The point of this is look into stuff. There's a personality trait in a, in a very scientific test called the Hexaco score and it says openness to new experience, openness to new experience is highly correlated with intelligence. Intelligent people look into different things even when there's critics or not critics. They make up the, their mind for themselves. Click the link, head over to my website, it's absolutely free, you don't have to put a credit card in. Um, watch this information, it's game changing information, okay? See you over on my site.